Hey everybody, this is Jill for today. Thank you for coming by. Today I am making some delicious savory biscuits. Cheddar cheese, zucchini, some nice little herbs in there. They're delicious. So let's get started and come on down to my work bowl. It's in the food processor. So in my food processor here, I have some all-purpose flour. And to that I am adding a combination here of baking powder, baking soda, and a little salt. And I'm going to just drop that in there. And I'm going to put my lid on and I'm just going to get it so it's, um, you know, just kind of combined. Just going to pulse, pulse it a couple of seconds there. And now I am going to add, woof, I'm going to add some butter that I have cut up into some cubes so it'll be easy to distribute and the, um, use my hands here and it'll be easy to get it crumbled if you were to stick a whole cube or a half a cube in here it, it just wouldn't make it so we're going to turn this food processor on and I am going to get it to where it is just a nice crumbly corn bready cornmeal kind of a texture and there we are going to show you here. Let me get a spoon so I can show you. It's See, it's all incorporated. It's just kind of cornmeal down there, but all those lumps are out of there. All right, so let me get my instructions here just to make sure I have it all right. Okay, now I'm going to add, oops, got to add it though. I'm going to add these herbs. There's some herbs and some uh, onion powder in there. And then I'm going to add some cheese. This is cheddar cheese that's been shredded. And I'm going to just, again, just mix it so those are combined. And that's all. It took just a few little pulses there. And now I'm going to add it's buttermilk, but I made the buttermilk by using milk and a little bit of just white vinegar. And now I'm going to pulse this again. See how easy this is? You know, anybody can cook this kind of kind of thing. It's just super easy. And again, I'm just going to pulse this until we get kind of a, a ball of dough in there. And we are, that's, that's it. That's all we want to do. So now I'm going to take the lid off of this and I'm going to push it aside because I'm bringing in a bowl because we are going to add one more ingredient before we make them into biscuits. So I'm going to pull my blade out very carefully. We don't want to cut ourselves there, right? And this is now going to go into a bowl. And I'm going to add some shredded zucchini. And you shred it. And you either have a dish towel or paper towels to really wring out that zucchini so it's really dry. What I have here is a, actually, I bought a set of produce bags. And it's just a, a muslin bag, a nut milk. If you make nut milk, uh, that's another thing you can use. But it's very, very convenient. So that's uh, what I use, and I got the zucchini nice and dried out. And I'm now just going to really, with my hand, kind of knead it into that dough. So it's, it's combined in throughout it. So all the little biscuits that I'm going to make will have zucchini. And I think a little bit more here on this, this side. That, I think it's looking very spread out. I think so. Look back here. Yes, I think we're looking pretty good there. Okay, I'm going to get my cookie sheet and then we're going to start making these into biscuits and then they'll be going into the oven. Alrighty, I'm going to bring this down onto, you know, just a little flour and I'm going to press it out so we can get kind of a each, you know, I want each biscuit to be about the same size and I'm going to make them kind of a, a rough biscuit, but at least we'll, you know, kind of have a, 
a good even even size. So I'm just going to cut this into uh, probably eighths. That's four. Mm -hmm. Actually, these might make some really awesome scones. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave them in a scone shape. Because why not? They're a biscuit, right? And a scone is like a biscuit. So I'm going to make it even easier and I'm going to do this. So I brought my cookie sheet in. Thank you very much, Director, for moving over there. I'm getting kind of spread out here. I am going to lay these out just like scones. Is this not going to be interesting to see how this turns out? And you know, if you wanted to get adventurous, and I almost did, and I said, no, because I do this a lot, I'll put uh, jalapeno peppers in a lot of different things. And so today I didn't. I didn't put them in. But I think a nice little smattering, maybe a tablespoon of really finely chopped jalapeno would really um, work out nicely. So I'm going to put these into a preheated uh, 450 degree oven. And uh, they're going to take about mm, 20 minutes. And once they are done, I will bring them out of the oven and I'm going to put them on a cooling rack. And um, once they're cool enough to dig into, we will take a taste. All right. All right. We're going to taste this. I call it a scone. We'll see, huh? All right. Nice little, still a little warm. Oh, it mm. does smell good, it smells though, doesn't good. it? Looks moist. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. It's not a scone. Mm. It's a no, biscuit. It's no scone. It's too moist for a scone. And it's moist. Mm hmm Oh, this is delicious. Mmm. Mm. I can taste the cheese. I can taste the zucchini. And the herbs I put in it. Mm. I put in there some Italian herbs and some onion powder. You slap a half a pound of butter on that, you'd really have something. But you know, I, <laughs> oh, I don't think it needs, do you think, well, I know no, you'll put butter on anything. This is delicious. It's got a nice crust. I put butter on my soap in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could cut it like a scone or you could cut it like a biscuit. I think it's delicious. I really do. It's very good. It is good. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I know who's going to eat the rest of this. Me? Mm-hmm. Mm, my mouth is full of goodness. All right. Well. That's a winner. It absolutely is. You know me, I find a recipe and I say, well, it's good. It looks, it looks good. This is great. But I got to put the Jill for Today spin on it. And that's what I did. And it paid off on this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Done. We're done here. Thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends. I'm still, you know, hair challenged up there. But it's but coming in. But it's coming along. It is. I have a new website that I'm currently, uh, well, actually, I'm not currently. My friend Bob is currently developing, and that's hey, w Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> www.jillfortoday.com. And I have an Amazon shop, and all that stuff's going to be linked down below. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.